Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm filming another video. Now today, as you can tell by the Christmas decorations, I am filming a Christmas video. Um, this is the first episode of the Who Said It Christmas special. There, I think there's going to be two episodes, um, we'll see. Um, but I'm having a Next Step guest return to my channel. He's previously competed on Who Said It, but they wanted to come back to do a Christmas episode. Now, the Christmas episode will run slightly differently. So round one is still who said it, but all of the quotes are based on the Christmas episode of The Next Step. So every other episode, there isn't anything from that, just a Christmas episode. And round two, instead of finish the line, is just some Christmas trivia, five questions to see how well the guests can do. And the final round is round three, where the contestant will have to try and guess as many of Santa's reindeer as they can. And depending on how many out of the nine they get will depend on the amount of points they have. So today's guest was on the Next Step Season 5. They were the first guest of Season 2 of Who Said It? And I'm so happy to say Melena Chanel will be joining me again. Hi, my name is Melena Chanel and you probably know me as Zara from the Next Step. Thank you so much for coming back, Melena. So today we're going to be doing Who Said It Again, but with a Christmas twist. I've just explained the rounds, so let's get straight into round one. So these uh, quotes are based on the Christmas episode of The Next Step. So your first quote is, I don't even matter. Um, I think Alex or Piper said that. Yes, Piper did say that. That was when she was getting her Christmas um, secret Santa thing and she got left out. Yeah, poor Piper. It was really, really sad, bless her heart. It was! I was just like, oh, I'm like, it's okay. Like me, Alex and Dylan and Berkeley all get each other gifts. So I'm like, it's okay, Alex, you're getting your gift soon. It's coming. But I'm like, it's not the same. <laughs> Oh, I know. It was so, it was so sad. Um, so th this next one is just after this, the last quote, and it is, I can hardly wait to see who shows up next. I think Emily says that. Yes, it was Emily. It was just after James and Wes came in and she was kind of hinting at somebody close and special to her was about to come into the room. Yes. So your next one is, James is one of the coolest guys I've ever seen. Oh, it's one of the boys that say that. Um, I can't remember if it was, I might be completely wrong, but I can't remember if it was Kingston or if it was Finn. It's one of them. I think it's Kingston. It is Kingston. Yeah! Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, do you remember what bit it was from? Um... No, not exactly. I feel like maybe he just did a flip to come in or something. I don't know. Yeah, so it's just after James did the flip and then Riley comes in and he takes all and he asks people to come and like take the presents off of Riley and they do that and then they're all saying how cool James is and Piper's upset about it. Yeah, and then doesn't she say something like they're just a bunch of toy soldiers like fawning or something over him? Yes, you have an amazing memory. Yes, he did say that. So this next one is quite difficult. I don't think I would get it to be fair. So best of luck. It's very random. And it is, it smells like a cinnamon bun. Oh, Kenzie says this. Yes, she does. I'm very impressed. Well done. That one, I thought it was so odd and so funny and cute that, that I think that's why it's stuck in my head. But it's when they're doing the presents and she smells her present. She's like, oh, it smells like a cinnamon bun. Who got me? And then Kingston says he got her and that he got her a candle that smells like cinnamon buns because every time they go to the mall, she gets a cinnamon bun. Yes, precisely. Well done. That was perfect. Spot on. So... This next one is after they've switched into the alternate universe. Um, this scene is very dramatic uh, and it is everyone follow Lily. Andrew, Miss Andrea says that. Yes, Miss Angela. Yes, that's correct. So that was when they were kind of running. I think it was like a count of eight. And, and it has reference to season six where Lily's the star and Miss Angela's evil. Yes, because Piper didn't fix everything. because She wasn't there. Exactly. And I just think it does show how much of an impact Piper had on the next step, because otherwise I, there wouldn't have been a studio. No, really, though, like every season she does something that like helps the next step. And it's so funny because I feel like it's like a great lesson for kids in general or just like anyone really to like 
remember that you're here for a reason and that like you do matter and even if like maybe you think that like you don't matter and people don't notice you is that you not existing so many things wouldn't have happened and i think it's a good reminder for all of us actually yeah i think that kind of is the moral as well behind the christmas episode i think you're right it's really important that people have an impact on each other and i i guess like it also says you wouldn't you kind of don't realize it until something's taken away so i think it's really teaching us to appreciate everyone we have in our lives absolutely this next one is a very crucial moment in the plot of the Christmas episode. Obviously, the studio is being sold to Alfie and it may all close and it's all basically falling to pieces. So this one is, I met you here too. Riley says that to Alfie. Yes, Riley does say that, yes. So this is when Alfie is considering, like, closing the studio and he's like, um, oh no, like, I don't want you here because it reminds me of um, the times that you had with James and all of that. And it's just really, really sad. Yeah, that is sad. The audacity. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. So I kind of hinted at what this next one is and it's this reminds you of him. Alfie says that. Yes, he did say that. That's exactly about the whole James situation um, and that the fact that he kind of, I think he kind of knows James and Riley do still love each other, to be fair. How can you not? They're d Riley is endgame forever and always. Yeah, definitely. So this next one is pretty long. Uh, this is near the end of the episode. So it's where at the front, everybody's sitting down and watching a troop dance, the Nutcracker. And it's, did you know the Nutcracker was the first performance my mum put on when she opened the studio? I would assume Miss Kate said that because no one else opened the, the studio. Yeah, that is Miss Kate. That was when she was talking to Emily and it's kind of a hint at the Dance Captain Diary where Emily um, is kind of saying she knows about it because she's read it and it's quite a heartwarming moment, I think. Yeah. Oh, good old Dance Captain journal diary. I remember those days. Yeah. So you have one more quote left. This one, I think it's difficult. I wanted to sneak a really hard one in at the end. So this one is, we've got to get up and out of the sewer. I, mm, we've got to get up. I feel like I'm going to say West because he had a weird monologue at one point and I feel like it could fit, but I'm not 100% positive. Yes, it is West. <gasps> Yeah. See, guys, I do love the next step. <laughs> yeah, I, it was weird. Really, really weird. I'm happy to tell you, you actually got 10 out of 10 in that round. Dang! Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah, we're off to a great start. Um, and some of them are very difficult, so you can tell you've definitely done your research on this. I had to study hard. Haven't studied in a really long time, but I had to study hard. <laughs> So round two is a Christmas trivia round. So this round is basically random Christmas trivia questions. Some of them are completely obscure and you may have no idea. I've tried to put some easy-ish ones in, so we'll see how you do. Yeah, this might be where it goes downhill, but we'll see how, how, how it ha happens and how it goes. <laughs> so my first question is, what is placed at the top of a Christmas tree? Uh, well, I guess it depends on who you are, but some people put an angel and some people put a star. I put a star. Yes, yeah, so I w had kind of two possible answers for that because I know everybody's different. But yes, it is a star or an angel, so well done. Um, this next question, I didn't know whether you'd know it because it's kind of like an English-British type of question, but you may know it. So who wrote A Christmas Carol? Oh, yeah, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sure I do know the answer, like, once you're going to say it, but, like, it, off the top of my head, I want to say Lewis someone, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's actually Charles Dickens. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know whether you'd know because I know he's a British writer, but I know a Christmas Carol was kind of a well-known thing. Um, but, yeah, so Charles Dickens wrote it, um, and he i think it was kind of to like teach people to like because i'm guessing you know the story of a christmas carol and it's to kind of teach people to be happy at christmas and to appreciate everyone yeah good story but yeah no i didn't know that well got the first one wrong it's okay it's okay you're doing amazing and they do say you learn something every day so that's what you've learned today <laughs> yeah exactly that's what i learned today i'm gonna go teach my kids that i'll be like guys did you know exactly
This next question is about a Christmas film which I think everybody in the entire world has seen. I think it's one of the biggest Christmas films in the entire world. So, what is the name of the main character in Home Alone? Oh. Oh my gosh, why am I blanking? Oh my god, this is so bad. <gasps> I know that... I know, I know the actor's name, but... Oh, Kevin! Oh, okay! Yeah, it is Kevin. I was so worried then. I was worried too, because I'm like, that is so embarrassing if I couldn't remember. But how I remembered was, um, there was a TikTok going around, and it was like the scene from Home Alone 2, I believe. Um, and at the end, she goes, Kevin! And that was what was in my head, and I was like, okay, there it is. <laughs> okay, we're good, guys. I do know... Whew. Yeah, that is a very iconic scene. That was a little nerve-wracking. Yeah, I can see you going a bit shaky then. <laughs> I was! I was like, people will judge me if I don't know what this is. So, this next question has a, a lot of possible answers, but it is name one other name for Santa Claus, and it can be any. Um, Saint Nick, Chris Kringle. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, that's correct. I wanted to sneak in an easy one before this very hard one at the end, which does have three options because I don't think I would know it and I don't think anybody would really know it without these options. So my final question for this round for you is where did Christmas trees originate from? A, France, B, the United Kingdom or C, Germany? I'm going to say Germany, but I don't think I'm right. Germany is correct. <gasps> that was a whim. That was 100% a whim. I did not know that. I am so happy right now. Heck yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, that one was very difficult because honestly, it could be any of them. Like, it isn't yeah. obvious. I just, the reason why is I feel like I've heard Germany is very beautiful during Christmas and they like, um... Also, my friends are in Germany right now, so like they're enjoying that. So I don't know, I just, I felt it, so I went with my gut, and obviously my gut was right, so hallelujah. Yeah, always trust your gut, and it was right in this instance, <laughs> so that's great. So in that round, you got four out of five, which is very, very good. Okay, not bad. So overall, you're on 14 out of 15, so almost full marks. This next round, round three, final round, um, and then we'll have a little bit of a chat about Christmas um, overall. So... Basically, this round, I didn't tell you what this round is at all because I don't want to surprise it or anything. Um, so in this round, you basically have to name as many of Santa's reindeers as you can. And depending on how many you can name depends on how many points. If you can name all nine, then you can get a total of five points. Oh my gosh, I'm... Okay. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, take your time. Okay. Um, Dasher. Comet. Cupid. Um, Dancer, uh, Rudolph, Donner, Blitzen, Vixen? Did I say Blitzen yet? Yeah, you said Blitzen at the start, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to remember the last one. I think that eight is all I have. You know what? I remembered the best one, which was Rudolph, so I feel like we're okay. Okay, so... Eight points gives you, uh, no, eight reindeers gives you four points, so that's almost full marks. I'm impressed. I wouldn't have known all of them. What was the last one that I was missing? Well, I was trying to work out, I think, was it Prancer you missed? Ah, uh, yes. Was where there, there's Dancer, Prancer, like it gets all mixed up. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Four out of five is not bad. I'll take it. So, with the extra points from that round, you are now on 18 out of 20, which is incredibly high, so you should be very impressed. That is not bad at all. I am very proud of myself. Congratulations, Melina. Yeah, you should be. That's a fantastic score. So, I before we wrap everything up, I just wanted to know, what is on your list for Christmas this year? Um... That's a good question. Um, honestly, I just love going home for the holidays. So my list is just to like see family. I haven't seen them in about six months. So it'll be nice to just spend the holidays with them. And honestly, what's on my list is a break. I'm very busy and we're getting a little tired. So I'm just excited for a break. Um, but I guess like I'm excited like uh, for home furniture. I'm living on my own now, so like just things to spruce up the house is kind of what's on my 
Christmas list is just home decor. <laughs> Oh, that's really exciting. And it's great that you get to go home and see your family as well. And do you kind of have any Christmas traditions that you do with your family? Yeah, we're also making new ones just because like now both me and my brother are adults. So like different things, I guess, for us and kind of trying to make traditions for like when we start growing our own families and things like that. Um, but every year we get Christmas pajamas, which I feel like is a common thing. Um, and then we also normally Christmas Eve is like games night. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like my favorite traditions and just like being able to do that. And we normally watch a movie on Christmas day. Oh, and my favorite, we make this um, like casserole called Lazy Man for Christmas day morning. It is my favorite thing in the world. It is like a ham and cheese sandwich kind of, but in a casserole and it has cornflakes on top and onions and it's just delicious. Oh, that sounds so nice. <laughs> that I can see why you like that. Right? <laughs> And one more question, what is your favorite Christmas film? Oh, I love watching The Holiday every year. Um, I, wa I The first time I ever watched it was three years ago and I've watched it every year. I haven't watched it this year yet and I'm so excited to watch it. Um, it has Jack Black, Cameron Diaz, um, Emma Thompson and Jude Law and they're just, ugh, it just gets you in the feels. Oh, enjoy it when you see it. There's a lot of big names in there, so it sounds amazing. So that kind of ends our Christmas Who Said It themed video. And like I said, you had 18 out of 20, which is amazing. You smashed every single round, so well done. And thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I had such a great time again. Oh, you're most welcome. And thank you to everybody who watched this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have an amazing Christmas. I know I'll see you before Christmas, but have an amazing Christmas season and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.